Well, good evening, you beautiful people. I basically just I just started off this um off this stream going, oh, that the tech stuff was easy tonight, and then within five seconds, I just basically obliterated everything. So, um, moral of that story is don't speak too soon. Um, just when you think you're flying in life, life will turn around and punch you in the face just so you don't get too cocky, particularly on a Facebook Live on a Monday night. But good evening. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining me. If you're here live, if you watch on the replay, it really means the world as well. Um, do come and join us one one week. We do this every single week on a Monday night, 9 till 10. However, um, I didn't do this last week, folks, because I was editing a, a brand new podcast that we put out for members of AtsOnThis.tv, um, our fourth quarter Table Talk. Um, Table Talk is a quarterly podcast that me and producer, producer Petch do uh, once a quarter where we chew the fat on everything to do with the acting industry and all of the issues we see actors in our community, in the AtsOnThis.tv community and in the wider community having. So um, it's a two and a half hour podcast um, in the members area on AtsOnThis.tv. I'll go over there in a minute, but I'm going to play out um, so a little, you know, I'm going to play out a little mashup of that. I've got another couple of videos to play out tonight as well. Um, and we've got lots and lots and lots to discuss between now and 10 o'clock. If you're here live, let me know in the chat how you're doing. Let me know if anything exciting has been happening to you this week already. Hopefully some good stuff's happening. Or maybe people have got some, uh, you know, some auditions on the way. Maybe some people have got some uh, agent meetings. I don't know. Or maybe maybe you just had something nice happen. There's nothing to do with acting. Share that in the uh, in the comments as well. I'm, I'm all about good news because... Um, there's not a uh, there's not a lot of it about right now, to be honest with you. Um, so thanks for being here, those people who are here live, Alex. Um, yeah, if you could share it in the Facebook group, that'd be uh, that'd be great, mate. And uh, mate, and I think the email that I just sent out, I just sent an email out to um, a lot of people on the ads on this email list who don't normally join these Facebook lives. So um, hopefully, yeah, they will uh, they'll be coming in as well, Alex. So you might have been in the segment, mate, which is like he turns up every week, doesn't need an email. <laughs> if you didn't get it, that might be why. Right. So let me just go over. Um, do you know what I wanted to do first of all? I just wanted to go over to YouTube. Um, oh, hang on. Why is it doing this now? Right, bear with me one second. I'm going to click on this. It's all the text just gone horribly wrong tonight now. I'm going to click on this. It's going to go black for a sec, and then the web browser, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to select it, and you're going to see web browser stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, how's that? How's that? There you go. There's a web browser. Yeah, I wanted to go over to the... Um, the ads on this TV YouTube channel because I don't think a lot of people even know it exists. Um, and I actually upload every single replay from these Monday night, these Monday night lives we do on Facebook. I, I upload the replay over on the uh, over on the YouTube channel every week. So if you've ever missed any of these, you've stumbled across this one on Facebook or whatever, and you're like, actually, I'd like to tune into past episodes, um, you can go and access hundreds of hours of these past episodes over on YouTube. There's also a little feature called Petch and Pals, where producer Petch sits down with members of ActsOnThis.tv sometimes to have a chat. We've got a couple of uh, special interviews that are on there. Um, old episodes of, uh, of Watch Ross, the vlog that I used to do behind the scenes of my acting career. It's timeless, that, though. Might be a couple of years old, but... Pfft, timeless classics um there's loads of stuff on there basically so just check it out you know if you're not a member of ads on this.tv yet you can't you know afford to get a membership even though it's super super affordable um i'll talk about that in a minute go and take in all the free content um on the youtube channel there's plenty and plenty of stuff to uh you know to, to watch and, um, and listen to on there um so that's that and that's youtube.com forward slash act on this tv youtube.com forward slash act on this TV. Um, now I'm over on the uh, the main acts on this TV website. Because I wasn't live last week, there's actually a couple of features to catch up on. Um, if I go into the preview features section, we'll have a look at these tonight. So as I say, I put that uh, Table Talk podcast out this week. Uh, well, last late last week. That's um, a two and a half hour chat with me and Petch basically on everything to do with all of the issues we're seeing actors in the uh, in the industry face, we talk an awful lot on there about side hustles. Ultimately, you know, earning money on your own terms to support your acting career. We talk about not fixing what isn't broken. A lot of actors kind of start having success in certain areas of the industry, and then they stop doing the thing that got them that success, and then they wonder why they stop having it. So that was that was a theme that we uh, we saw coming up. We talk about finishing twenty twenty three strong. How you can finish the um, the year better than you started, basically, even if you don't feel you're winning the year as of yet. A lot of people, you know, are ready to give up in quarter four because they're like, oh, the, you know, the, the earlier parts of the year weren't that good in my acting career. Don't quit now. It's just getting started. Like so many other actors are quitting. Those who don't will just get ahead of the competition. So we can 
finish 2023 strong, there's still plenty of time to land TV roles literally this year. You know, we've got eight weeks left and there's so much time left on the clock. Um, and then the week before that, I um, did a round table chat. This was a live Zoom call for members of Uh with the entire team behind The Long Shadow, ITV's brand new um, incredible drama. Um and I had on there some absolutely amazing names. Louis Arnold, the director of the show. Catherine Kelly, who you see in the picture there, an incredible actress. David Morrissey, a fantastic actor. Uh, we also had Victor Jenkins, a casting director. Sasha Svark, um, the uh, the editor of the show. We had Rob James Collier, another incredible actor in the show. Um, so that's in the members area for you guys now as well. The week before that, we had Phil Barantini talking about Boiling Point, which actually concluded last night as I am live. The fourth episode went out um, on Sunday night. So let us uh, know if you... Um, you know, if you watch that. And ultimately, in these sessions, we just broke down how, you know, how they made it happen and how you as an actor, you know, can market yourself well enough to end up being in these kind of shows. So there's loads to catch up on in the members area, at sonlist.tv. If you're not a member, I don't know what you're doing with your career. Come on if you're not where you want to be. At sonlist.tv forward slash live. Go get a membership. We've got some incredible calls coming up as well. Um, I'll dive into the schedule shortly. We've got, I've, I've got the next eight calls booked out um and uh i'll go over those but this week's call on thursday night is going to be with an incredible um director of coronation street in emmerdale and um, dom stevenson awesome young director who's worked his way up at itv over the last 10 years really interesting story he's gone about it in such a different way that's what is why i wanted to bring him on so we'll talk about that um in a second but for now let's recap i'll just dive into the comments and then we'll recap on a couple of those um a couple of those features and then we'll um yeah we'll we'll get stuck in to some more chat joe's here how are you joe hope you are good um claire's in the house as well claire thanks for uh, for being here so she's done two short films um nice um kate how are you thanks for uh, being here richard hale is in the house as well from america says, hope all is well. sag after is still on strike over here, but good things happening in the UK. Rich, you have to, Rich is from Birmingham, lives in America, does incredible work, works with some massive names. Um, but you're all on strike over there, Rich. Come over here, mate. We're not on strike. Um, I'll sort you out. It's fine. We'll get, we'll get you a job. Just come over and just, just hang out with us just you know, while you're waiting. Um, yeah, it's, it's all right over here still. Industry's still buzzing. Lots of stuff going on. I'm filming the new Netflix show on Friday. Um, lots of uh, opportunities still in the UK. So um, while they're all figuring it out, Rich, get yourself over here and just I won't I won't say anything to anybody. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, right, Indy, how are you? He's here as well. I'm just going to play. Let's just play a little bit um, of Table Talk, this latest podcast that we put out for members of AtsOnThis.tv last week. It's just a few of the um, of the topics that were coming up. It's a few of the things that me and Petch discussed. A two and a half hour chat, pretty in depth. Petch. Welcome back to the kitchen for October 2023 Table Talk. It's the final quarter of the year. Let's get stuck in. This is the once a quarter feature for Acts on This TV, where we dive into all of the burning issues that we see actors in our community and outside of it facing. The first thing I've actually got here is side hustles. Right. And you mentioned there in, in the chat about what you were you were talking about at this event that you don't have to build a million pound business. No, of course you don't. You have. How can I go about creating my own side hustle? What am I passionate about? What do I like? What do I love doing, right? Um, what am I good at? And what will people pay me for? And it's where that overlap is, is the sweet spot. What are you doing differently now in these self tapes that is landing you more work? I just, in the nicest, and I mean this respectfully, I just stopped caring. All my other tapes last year, those 13 that I had got and not booked, every single one I didn't get put more pressure on the next. What did you find out about Spotlight Premiere? So Spotlight Premiere, I've not found out a lot, but it says a new membership for growth and development. It says Premiere offers a series of features and services uh, to members looking for a little more in terms of support and future growth. How can we help actors stop overthinking sometimes you've just got to make a decision Gary Vaynerchuk says this he says the beautiful thing about making a decision if you've got a couple on the table is once you've made that decision you've no idea where that decision you didn't make was going to lead you it's October it's quarter four actors are now winding down I use the basketball analogy so many games of basketball are won in the fourth quarter from teams that were losing in quarters one two and three mm -hmm. don't be the team that quits I'll let you choose one um I mean, you can answer it. Why do you do 
what you do. And this could be a bit controversial, I could get cancelled here. I always get cancelled on every table talk. It's about time I did it, isn't it? Oh, does Petch actually get cancelled? I don't think he's been cancelled yet. And I don't think what he said was actually that uh, that controversial. This makes for a nice trailer, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, we spoke about so much on that chat. Um, and I can see you in the in the comments there, Alex. Were like, you know, you, you said that you um, you need to follow that little bit of, 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 of a, well, not advice really, but what I was talking about there when it came to booking work and self-tapes. I've booked so much. Well, I didn't book any work last year. I had 13 self-tapes. I didn't book a single one. I've booked almost, I mean, probably 75% of tapes that I've had this year. Um, and honestly, and it always sort of like, it can be misconstrued this when you sort of like, you know, you frame it like this. But honestly, the only thing that I can put it down to, it's not my acting ability's got better. It just hasn't, right? You know, I've, I've been an actor 20 odd years. You know, I've trained and trained and trained. Of course, you can always get better, but there's not incredible leaps and bounds probably still to be had around my ability. My ability is solid and it's and it's where it's been for a while. Um, but my attitude towards it changed, which was just don't put so much pressure on yourself. And in, in the most respectful way, just don't care as much. Don't put so much of your, I don't know, sort of significance, uh, you know, validation, so much of, uh, of your, um, I don't know, what's, what, 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 uh, what are the words? Just sort of like so much of your um, identity on whether you're working or not. Just like, just try and remember why you got into this in the first place. Um, you know, deliver the best that you can deliver on the tape. Send it in and just forget about it. Um, don't overanalyze it. Don't edit 25 takes of it. Don't think after you've done, you know, two or three really solid takes, oh, maybe there's 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 another one and another one and another one. Oh, maybe I could just do this. And then you just mess yourself up. Um, I was always treating tapes like they were sort of in the room auditions. Yes, I would learn the lines. Of course I would. Um, you know, I would prep um, sort of like not super, super in depth because you don't have a load of time when you're turning around cell tapes. Sometimes you might have 24, 48 hours, even though they give you a bit more time now. Not that wasn't the case on all of the tapes that I did. Um, but I honestly just didn't put my entire identity and self-worth on booking a job. Whereas last year, the pressure mounted more and more as every tape I did, I didn't book the role. So, you know, it's fine for the first couple. You're like, oh, it's okay. Something else will come along. And then the third take comes in and you don't get it. And you go, shit, I better, you know, I really better book something soon. Fourth take comes in. Oh, my God. By the time the 12th tape came in <laughs> and I not booked a single thing, I was like, that's it then. I must be completely shit. Um, you know, the industry's gone off me. <laughs> like, no one likes me anymore. Um, it was ridiculous. I was just like, no, I'm just, I'm not building my entire self worth in it, whether I'm working or not. My employment status will not basically dictate whether I feel relevant or not. And I always feel pressure, obviously, to work because I'm running this community. Um, so no, I just took, I just took the pressure off, honestly. Um, and I've just booked so much more work. I'm, I'm shooting a new Netflix show. Um, I think with Jodie Whittaker on Friday. Um, called Toxic Town. I think she might be in the scene that I'm in. I'm not entirely certain. There's two actresses in it with me, and I think she might be one of them. Um, but yeah, honestly, like th this year, it's, it's almost been like job after job after job. And the only thing I can account it to is not that I've got better, not that I've changed, I don't look different, nothing like that at all. Just my attitude in the self tape um, was that I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't need this in, in terms of like I, I don't, I won't feel less than if I don't get it. Let's just enjoy ourselves, send the tape in and, and see what happens. Um, so I don't know. I can't quite exactly put my finger on it. And I know it's hard to say to people, just don't care as much. Like, well, what does that actually mean? Um, for me, I think it also, do you know one thing that actually um, me and Pech talked about in there that I think might have helped as well? I've been too busy with other stuff this year to care. I've been so like busy with that on this TV, running other events, the first TV roll fast track intake. I've been speaking at more events. Um, I'm exhibiting at Actors Pro Expo this Saturday. I'll talk about that in a bit as well for any actors who want to come to that exhibition. Um, for actors that's happening in Manchester on the 28th of October, I've had so many other things going on. It's almost like I've not had, I've not had time to overanalyze the tapes. I'm like, is that take good enough? Am I happy with it? Yeah, is it perfect? Probably not because I don't think any take is. You know, let's just send it in. And um, and it's worked. <laughs> so um, so yeah, have other stuff in your life. Become like so busy with other things that you're that you enjoy that if you don't get that role, it doesn't take all of your fulfillment and joy away from you. 
that's sort of like what I would uh, what I would say. Kevin, how are you? Kevin Z. He says he's got the word there, attachment. Yeah. Um, I guess what you is that in relation to? I've missed some comments, but in terms of becoming so attached to the work, yeah, detach yourself um, so that your identity is not based around yeah like whether you're employed or not as as an actor i mean obviously tr be employed you have to in some capacity you have to earn money somewhere but um but yeah it's um it's interesting and if you're not getting a tape request so alex says at least you're getting the tape requests um then you've just got to focus on the output again alex and and, and i know it's hard and then sometimes you've got to tweak as well like the output that you're putting out so i always talk about focusing on your output not the outcome and the output is ultimately what you are putting out into the world. How many casting directors you are getting in touch with, directors you are meeting. Could be, it could be uh, writers, could be producers. You know, are you reaching out to people who you just never had a conversation before? Are you going to events where you will cross paths with people? You're hanging out in places where, you know, um, you will meet people in the industry. Uh, so much of, of uh, my opportunities come from um, the quality of the relationships that I have with people in the industry as well. How many people I meet, how many people I add value to. Um, you know, so there's there's always like it can be exhausting, Alex, and I get it. You got to step back from time to time, but it, there's always more you can do. There's always more you can be getting involved with, um, you know, and um, and you are doing that. I see you doing that. You know, you did those short plays recently. Um, let us know how that went, mate. Hopefully that all, all went good. And then it is just a matter of just tweaking your market material, rinsing and repeating. You know, just continuing to send stuff out. Um, there's roughly I don't know last, on last count probably 185 real quality casting directors in the industry. Um, well, that includes associates, actually, and assistants. Um, so you can cycle through those, you know, whether you're sending three, four emails a week. It would literally take you a year of doing that to get through. And then when you get through them all, you go back to the start and you do it again. <laughs> so like, that's all I do. It's literally, it's all, that's, that's the, the only strategy I know. It's all I've ever done. And it does result in work. And then, and then work sort of begets work. And then you'll work with directors again and again, and then they'll get to know you, and then they give you opportunities that you don't have to work quite as hard for because you've kind of done the donkey work back in the day. Um, so it's just a matter of perseverance, man. But keep going, Alex. Keep going, dude. You can win in the fourth quarter this year, like I said in that trailer. Basketball games are often won in the fourth quarter when the team has been losing in quarters one, two, and three. Um, Natalie, how are you? So don't worry about being late. It's all, it's all good. Um, and she says, output, uh, not outcome is something that definitely helps my mental health keep afloat. It's the only thing you can control. You can't ever control the, um, the outcome of anything, really. You can just control your output. And that's, and as long as, you know, you, you, you can go to sleep knowing that you have done that, you'll sleep easy. You'll rest easy. You know, it's when you act out of alignment with, with your identity when you won't. If you think, actually, you know what? I'm really talented. I should be working. I know I can do this. And then you don't do the work. You're the only one who knows you're not doing the work. And that will feel shit because it's out of alignment with who you believe you are. Um, so it's just a matter of, um, yeah, just, just just pushing on. And don't, you know, like I said in, in, in that podcast there, like quarter four, notoriously, Actors just decide, that's it, sack it, I'll, I'll, I'll start again in January. It's just the worst move ever. The stuff's still casting now, the stuff's still in production now. Agents are quieter now than they will be in January. So if you want to get new rep right now, you should be reaching out to, to agencies like now in the next sort of six weeks. Um, not in January when every man and his dog's going to be doing that. There's so much opportunity now in this final quarter to get ahead of everybody else. And I see it happen. I see actors leapfrog others. Um, who aren't? Who are maybe more talented because they're not working hard enough um, in this last quarter of the year? It's something I've seen every single year for the last decade. That's why I, I always sort of like you know preach about it and and sort of hammer it home quite hard. Caroline, how are you doing? Says I get the tape requests and I've been getting great feedback lately. So hopefully in a matter of time. Yeah, if you're not booking, Caroline, hang in there. Like I said, that was me last year. I was getting the tapes, didn't book a single job. First time in ten years I'd not worked in front of the camera. Um, this year it's you know my hit rate has been really really good. So. I'm sure it'll be the same for you, uh, you know, if you keep going. Um, right. Well, I've got so much to cram in uh, at the moment. I'll dive back into the comments um, shortly. I wanted to play just, just the trailer out for the session that we did um, for ITV's The Long Shadow the week before last. Like I say, I wasn't live last Monday night, so I know you guys didn't sort of get to catch up on this. Um, the full two and a half hour chat is in the members area over at on this.tv right now. If you're not a member, get a membership. You'll get instant access to it. Um, but we had like household names on this chat. Um, in my opinion, like potentially right now, probably the best TV director in the country, Lewis Arnold. Um, you know, directing the biggest things out there constantly. 
Um, he was on here, Victor Jenkins, casting director. I mentioned them all before, but here's just a little um, a little trailer of some of the stuff we talked about. And if you've not seen ITV's The Long Shadow, I think episode five might be playing out right now as we're live. Um, the full seven episodes is available on, on ITVX. It's a pretty distressing drama. Um, you know, it's a heavy watch. I wouldn't necessarily binge it, but it's a absolutely incredible it's just a masterclass when it comes to the acting the directing the storytelling um so here's a little bit of what you missed on that session and like i say the full two and a half hour chat is in the members area on acts on this.tv right now director of the long shadow lewis arnold casting director victor jenkins editor sasha spark and two stars of the show acting legends catherine kelly and david morrissey Good evening, folks. How are you? Question for Lewis, and then we're going to get everybody's going to have their own uh, their own time to shine here. But like, why did you want to take this project on in the first place? It was the humanity, and um, you know, George's script was just brilliant. Is the is the short answer? You know, you're always just drawn to the best scripts. I mean, I looked on IMDb before. There's 114 roles in this, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's. I mean, it's about 150 when we started. How do you get the initial list together? The more shows we work on together, the more people he meets, the more people he gets to like and know, and then it kind of gets to grow into, uh, th then you kind of add, add to, the, to the company. This is one of the most sort of moving, horrific scenes of the whole thing for me. How much, Pat? Five. I think what makes me feel the safest working with Lewis is that he sees everything. Because... Sometimes a director will give you a note and you think, didn't I just, did you, okay, maybe you didn't see that enough because I yeah. was thinking that. So it, he doesn't miss anything. I give you my word that I will catch this animal because that's what he is. Then you have that from me, Mr. McDonald. These are real people. Do you feel more pressure there? Or like, how did you go about researching George for this? I'm not there to judge my character. I'm there to play him mm. and I'm there to sort of make sure he's a rounded three-dimensional person. For Sasha, how were you able to enhance those performances further in the edit? I'm just looking for the moments that kind of, you know, really draw me in where I feel there's vulnerability or, or whatever's called for for the scene. And I feel like I'm really suddenly pulled towards the screen. Look, I, I don't want to tread on toes here. You know, that's what you're doing. To go into that scene and just try and hit the ground running is, is quite intimidating, but it was helpful because I think that's how Jack would have felt. There is no big mystery. There is no secret sauce. I think I said it before in the last one, it's doing the work and being prepared. Try not to forget who you are. I think the worst times in your career or in anything in life are the moments when you find out the most about yourself. Boom! Get your membership on Ads on this. Just literally, just for that for that session, it's worth a month a month's fee just to get access to that session. We literally dived in at every aspect of that show, how they cast it, working with Lewis on set. Um, you know how uh, Catherine Kelly and David Morrissey work as actors. Um, Catherine's self tape for that show. Um, honestly. Just, just amazing to hear behind the scenes of uh, of everything there. So yeah, let us know if you, if you if you were there live for that. If you're here now on Facebook, let us know what your biggest takeaway was from that from you know that session. Um, but I bloody love it when we get you know a real just a real mix of guests on. You know, just talking specifically about a show we did it. Um, the last one we did was for BBC's Time, and we had um, oh everybody on it. Lewis again, uh, but we had Stephen Graham, Hannah Walters, James Nelson Joyce. Uh, we had Tom Sherry, who was head of the BBC at the time. Um, we had Sasha on again. I can't remember who else was. Uh, we just had, like, again, incredible, incredible people on there. Um, but again, that's in the members area. If you want to go and check that out and you want to hear behind the scenes of how Stephen Graham gets in character, how he works as an actor, fascinating stuff. Still, to this day, I think the only guy I've heard who um, says he goes and buys a fragrance for every character that he plays. Although Lewis said that he said, that Stephen said at some point that he'd nicked that off someone else. So I don't know. I don't know if that's the case or not. I don't know if that was Steven's thing or whether he got it for somebody else. But um, I thought that's dedication for you, isn't it? Going out and just buying a fragrance for uh, for your character. I'd never I'd never heard of someone doing that before until then. So um, so yeah, what a what a cracking little hack. Janet, good evening. Thanks for being here. Um, Natalie says honestly, if I can get that first day player role by the end of the year, I'll be happy. Filming another short scene tomorrow to get sent out this week. Nat, it can so, it can so happen. There's so much time. Talking, do you know what? Why don't we dive into what's coming up on Acts on this TV for members as well that can help you um, with that. I've just updated the schedule today 
We've got some banging sessions on the way. This isn't even at all. This, this is eight sessions happening before Christmas, but there will be podcasts as well that we're probably going to drop exclusively for members of AtsOnThis.tv as well. But if you've never been a member before, just give me two months. If you've, if you've had a year, 2023 has not been the year that you wanted it to be, and you've, you, you think you're doing everything right, you've got Spotlight, you've got an agent or whatever, you've got a showreel, and you're like, I don't understand why I'm not getting any sell tapes or I'm not booking any work. Give me two months and just join us for each of these sessions over the next eight weeks before Christmas. And I promise you, you will learn so much more in that time that you probably ever learned in an eight-week period before, an eight-year period before, because we literally you know, dive into to the real business of this business the nuts and the bolts of it every single week with the biggest casting directors, agents, actors, writers, directors, and producers in TV. Um, and it's information that will put you leaps and bounds ahead of your competition if you act on it. That's why it's called Act On This. And it's hard work. This is not like a, you know, a magic pill. You don't just, just you know push a button and all of your hopes, dreams, and, and, and wants come true. You've got to hustle for it. But a lot of actors are putting in the work, well, the, the level of effort that's required, but they're putting it into all the wrong things. If you put the same level of effort that you're putting in now into actually laser-focused strategies, you'd get way further, way faster. Um, so it's starting in just a few days. Um, this is this week's uh, Act On This member-only session. It's happening on Thursday, 26th of October, 7.30 p.m., live on Zoom. If you can't make it live, don't worry. If you're a member, you get access to the replay the very next day. Um, and we've got an incredible director coming on uh, this week with a really interesting story. Dom Stevenson, um, he has been at ITV for the last decade, right? A lot of a lot of directors work in, you know, when, by the time they become a director, they've worked at lots of different companies. They might have worked on, you know, different, different production companies, on different shows, different sets, all this sort of stuff. Um, and... You know, they might have even, you know, gone and, and, like, trained. You know, I think, like, Lewis went and just trained, like, did a degree. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It does this every single week. Every single week, for 10 seconds, it decides it's going to interrupt my internet connection. And then we have to just give it 10 seconds to just put its dummy back in. <laughs> and then I should be back on. It did it again, guys. Every single week, we get the 10-second dropout until i'm actually back on let me know let me know if i'm uh if i'm back alex i should be back now let me know <laughs> and let me know where i uh where i got up to every single week it does it just don't know why at the same time we have a 10 second dropout alex i know 9 30 boom it's like clockwork they, ch they change something to do with the internet in my building at 9 30 every, every night just for 10 seconds <laughs> so yeah this week dom stevenson really interesting story okay so he's basically been at itv for 10 years he started off as a floor runner Okay, then he moved up into you know various other other roles. So he's been a third assistant director, a second assistant director. He's even worked in the graphics department for a couple of years, I think. I don't know exactly on what, but you know to do with TV graphics and titling, I imagine, um, you know that sort of stuff. Now he's a lead director. He's just recently directed his first fourteen episodes of Coronation Street, and no, fifteen episodes of Coronation Street, I think, and four episodes of Emmerdale. Um, he's going on to other blocks of those shows, other serial dramas as well. Um, and I just thought because he's uh, he has been sort of in all of the departments, he, he will know everybody's job so well, way better than I think a lot of directors will know because he's been the floor runner, he's been the second AD, the third AD. Um, so I just thought he's going to have a knowledge of working with actors that a lot of directors won't have. So I just think it's going to be great diving into his entire career, how to get on his casting radar when he's you know shooting more episodes of these shows, uh, what it's like working on set with him. We're going to dive into the audition process, what he likes to see from actors in auditions, um, you know, ultimately how yeah how you know you can get on his radar so he knows that you exist, so that you can get opportunities with him you know down the line when you know he's he's looking to you know to cast people in these shows. So that's happening this Thursday night, twenty sixth of October. Then the week after, and this is really really relevant. I wanted to do this session with Spotlight now. Because I'm not sure if you're aware, but so much has changed on Spotlight recently. Even this week, they are moving offices. They're no longer going to be um, in Leicester Square. They've been in Leicester Square for years and years and years, Spotlight. They're moving to, is it Garrick Street? I've got an email I can put up in a second. I can't remember exactly where. Um, but loads of stuff has changed um, on Spotlight. And I want to do almost like a Spotlight surgery. I'm probably going to use Petchy's Spotlight profile, uh, produce a Petchy's Spotlight profile as an example. 
And I'm going to get Mel Brown, who is Spotlight's success manager, to go through it and we're going to pimp it out. We're going to look at all of the sections of people's Spotlight profiles that they don't use, they don't utilize well enough. We're going to dive into the new membership level Spotlight Premiere. We're going to look at the new Spotlight Premises, uh, where Spotlight is now. Um, we're just really going to dive into all of the sort of features that I don't think a lot of actors, including myself, there might be stuff that I'm like, I don't even know you could do that. Mel will know how to do everything. So we're going to um, really sort of look at pimping everybody's spotlight profiles out by the end of 2023. So going into 2024, you know, we're going to be at double the amount of auditions you're getting off your spotlight because it's going to be so effective. Um, so that's happening on Tuesday, the 31st of October. If you're not on spotlight as well, by the way, we're going to talk about how you get on spotlight very easily on that session. The joining criteria has changed completely recently. Much easier to get on spotlight than it's ever been before. Week after that, we've got a two and a half hour um, act on this answer session. That's basically where the entire Acts on this community gets online. You can ask me and producer Perch any questions you want on your acting career, on anything at all. Um, you know, anything you need to know basically to help you have more success in the industry. I have spoke at length for almost 40,000 hours to nearly every single person. <laughs> in every single area of the industry. I don't think there's a lot I don't know now. Um, so if you've got problems, you want solutions, you know, if you've got questions, you want answers, get yourself along to that session. We will talk about anything that's personal to you on that session. Week after that, anybody who's looking for a great agent wants to sign with a new agent before Christmas, we've got um, Nicola Bolton, CEO and lead agent, obviously at Nicola Bolton Management, an incredible boutique um, acting agency. Uh, Nicola has been an agent for... But I'm sure a decade or even more, but she launched her own agency, Nicola Bolton Management, just uh, like just before or just starting lockdown, kind of like 2020, tw when would that have been, 2020? Um, so uh, the agency's grown then in three years, you know, it's a super, super well-established agency now, super well-respected, her clients are working on the biggest TV shows out there, Nicola's just, you know, super, super approachable, lovely, we're going to be talking all about basically what you need to do as an actor to get signed by you know an agent like Nicola or Nicola herself, you know if you're looking for a uh, for a new agent this year, um, I can highly recommend Nicola. Honestly, yeah, so super super legit, and her clients are working on you know massive massive TV shows. And um, so that's when is that? That's the 14th of November. Week after that, we've got Amy Jackson, top TV casting director, has just cast a brand new comedy uh, called We Might Regret This for BBC. Before that, she did Stephen Merchant's The Outlaws, um, Apple Smash Hit Suspicion. She worked with Amy Hubbard. Um, for ages and ages and ages before she went out on her own a couple of years ago. Uh, so Amy's not been on Acts on This.TV for about 18 months, going to be joining us on the 23rd of November. Week after that, just one of the biggest comedy casting directors, and, and not just comedy though, Catherine Willis does a lot of drama as well, but does a lot of big comedy, a lot of big comedy. Stuff like the Disney Plus series, The Full Monty she did recently, um, Changing Ends, that's the Alan Carr comedy, uh, BBC Two's Henpocalypse, um, brand new Disney Plus show, uh, The Ballad of Renegade Nell. It's an upcoming show that's coming out. Um, she's going to be joining us on the 20, what's that, 8th of November, Tuesday the 28th of November. So anyone who's like really looking to hammer comedy, not just comedy, I say she, Catherine does drama, but you know, for me, she just casts wicked, wicked comedies. I think she's doing um, Alma's Not Normal, the new series of that. That's filming in Bolton at the moment. Um, I think it's that for BBC Two or BBC Three, but a fantastic comedy. Um, that if anyone saw the first series of that, brilliant, it's really, really hilarious northern comedy. Um, so Catherine's going to join us on the 28th of November. Then we've got our Christmas cocktails and conversation networking event happening on the 7th of December. Um, and then we're going to finish the year off with our final showreel surgery of 2023 on the 12th of December. Uh, with, in my opinion, the best showreel producer in the UK, Mr. Chris Stone. So we want to make sure that your showreels are absolutely banging for 2024. So it's all planned out very specifically, the order of this and why we're doing everything. Like I say, Spotlight literally just moving this week. That's why we've got Mel on next week. Um, so there's eight sessions there that if you attend or if you can't attend live, you watch the uh, the recordings of. I promise you, if you implement everything you're learning on these sessions, you just cannot fail to have more success than you're having right now. Uh, there's also 400 hours worth of sessions with the biggest casting directors, agents, actors, writers, directors, and producers in TV in the members area right now. For anyone who's not got a membership, you get instant access to that as well. We've got all our Rapid Fire Friday sessions coming up. Um, we've got our um, networking, in-person networking, and on Zoom networking events as well. There's just so much happening before Christmas. Um, and you get access to all of that for £6.75 a week. Every Everyone else, all the other bullshitters in the industry are taking 60 quid, 65 quid off you for a two-hour workshop with a casting director that never leads to work. Well, they'll barely remember you because they just do these and then off they go and that's it. Like, 
don't don't like rip yourselves off throwing money down the drain like that you know get into these kind of sessions learn how to take control of your career yourself get your shop window in order and then you know you can then build better relationships with these casting directors in a professional one-to-one kind of environment via email as opposed to hi i'm a desperate struggling actor in a workshop um the workshop providers don't care they're just they're just bagging the three grand that they've they've taken off everybody (laughs) for the afternoon they just go we'll do a session in the morning session in the afternoon let's give you two and a half minutes to just do your little scene and then you'll get a bit of direction they'll go all right well done go and sit down for an hour and 45 minutes see ya pointless i just think it's pointless i still want to disrupt the workshop um industry and just do them better um, not quite sure how we're going to do that, but but that's definitely what I'll be looking at doing maybe in 2024. Um, but yeah, honestly, I cannot make it more affordable for people. And I just promise you, if you implement this stuff and you act on it, um, you're going to end 2023 way stronger and you're going to start 2024 ahead of everybody else. So um, come and join us um, if you uh, if you can. Would really, uh, really appreciate it. Um, right. Alex is Alex is pimping out his affiliate link in the comments there, so he can get a commission. That's one thing. What, what's happening? So is Jane, are you is Jane asking about the membership? So Jane, yeah, the membership is six seventy five a week, basically. It's twenty seven quid a month. Cancel any time you want, or if you want to get it cheaper, um, get an annual membership, and you'll get it even cheaper than that. It's like a fiver a week or something if you get an annual membership. And if you get an annual membership, you'll also get access to something that we do called the Ultimate Contacts Database. It's the it's the most in depth database of casting director casting assistant and casting associate and agent contact details on earth. It's taken us 200 hours to um, create. It got updated today, actually. I've got an update that's going out later tonight. Uh, It just means that you've got the entire industry's contact details at your fingertips. You can't buy it anywhere else. Nowhere else has has created anything like this. Um, So you get it for free and you save about 50 quid a year if you get an annual membership. One thing you do get, and like you see... Alex has put there. He's put his affiliate link in there. Is any any actor who becomes a member can get access to the act on this affiliate scheme, which ultimately is just a way for me to reward members of the community for just helping me grow the community. You'll get a unique link you can give to other actors. So say you're in an actor's WhatsApp group or something like that, you can post your link in the group. Um, don't spam anybody or you know be a nuisance or anything like that. Um, but you know if you're getting value out of the membership, you can then give someone else your link. If they sign up through that link, they'll get a 25 percent commission on the membership you know that you uh that you buy so that's that's something that's available to all members as well um so um you know by all means anybody who's a member here make sure you're using your link like i want to reward you um you know for helping me you know grow this community and the more people we have in the community the bigger the guests get the more events we can run ultimately there's more resources we have to just you know to do even bigger and better things so um so yeah is it janet janet come and join us janet honestly give me till christmas let me show you how powerful this community is. Honestly, if you've been throwing money away this year on these workshops that are 50, 60 quid and you're getting two and a half minutes in front of somebody and then you're sitting down watching another 18 people get up and do a script where you're not learning. You know, you, you can't learn. It's only like you can go to one of those classes a couple of times and you'll learn from watching others. So much of, this, of the acting industry is learning by doing. It's getting up and it's doing it and it's feeling it and it's getting in your body and connecting emotionally. It's not sitting there watching other people do stuff. That's just playing it safe, you know? It's like, that's not, that's just not it. So many actors get up in a class, do their thing for two minutes that they're really, really nervous about. And they're just so happy that they then get to go and sit down. It's like, oh, oh, I did it. I got, oh, it's always like they put themselves through such a turmoil, such a rigmarole of going, right, I'm going to be judged now and everyone's going to look at me. And then they might do it and you might get good feedback and, like, and they'll just go, oh yeah, it's really, really good, great. And you go, what have I learned by that? It's not just giving me good feedback. That meant I could already do it before I went in. And why? And then they sit down and they're like really happy that they get to sit there then for another hour and a half because the pressure is off. But I'm like, you're just wasting money. You probably just spent the equivalent of 45 quid's worth of that entire workshop watching other people, feeling relieved that that's not you there performing. Just a bit backwards as an actor. Like, I'd, I'd be like, I want to I be performing this entire two hours for that for that amount of money not sitting there watching everybody else so um so yeah if you've been doing that if people have been doing that this year and it's not been leading to anything do something different you know come and learn how the industry really works and how to actually earn money out of your career that's that's the entire focus of acts on this.tv i will never teach anybody to act not my place um but if you want to learn how to actually turn your craft into cash um, as crude as that sounds, you know, if you want to earn a living out of being an actor, as opposed to just romanticizing the struggling actor trope of like, you know, um, all actors have to struggle. No, they don't. 
not the savvy ones, the clever ones don't. Um, come and get involved. Um, right, okay, let's have a look. Um, what else have I got to cover? We've got 20 minutes. I think I've got quite a, quite a few more things to cover. What have we <laughs> covered so far? I've just been on a rant. So we've covered Dom Stevenson. So yeah, th yeah so this is Dom. This is Dom. So Emmerdale casting, uh, Emmerdale director, sorry, and, and uh, Coronation Street directors. This is this Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Um, I'll show you. I've actually got, if I go over to the web browser, I'm sure I've, I had Dom's linked in up before. Yeah, here it is. That's why LinkedIn's so useful as well, actors. Honestly, just to just to figure people out and what they've done. If you have a look, yeah, there's there's Dom's LinkedIn there. Ten years and two months at ITV. This is really rare, um, where someone's been at the same place working up. And this is why, you know, they always say like, you know, be nice to the runners, and that's just cliche. Just be nice to everybody, just because it's the right thing to do. Just no, <laughs> kindness is the right thing to do. You don't lead with it to get something out of somebody. But have a look, he started off as um, a post-production runner, 2014. Then he went to floor runner, 2017. Third assistant director, post-production graphics, trainee director, second assistant director, now director. Uh, he's done one year and 10 months um, at ITV. He doesn't just direct for ITV. He does his own projects as well. That's why I'll say part-time there. But yeah, he's just done 15 episodes of, um, of Corrie and four episodes of Emmerdale. Um, but I just think that'll be a really, really interesting session. And he's a, he's a proper up and coming young gun. I'm like, get on his radar now whilst he's got time to discover actors before he gets too busy. Cause he's super talented. He could just get too busy and go, don't have time to watch showreels anymore. So you've got to get them, get them while, while they're on the up. Um, but yeah, he seems like a really, really nice guy. I'm going to record a trailer with Dom tomorrow morning and I'll start putting that out as well tomorrow afternoon. So you'll get a bit of a feel for him before we do the session, but that's 7 30 PM. Um, this Thursday evening. Um, so we've covered that. What else did I have to say? Oh, Spotlight. Yeah, I was going to bring this email up, wasn't I? Let me go back over. <laughs> back over. Uh, oh, no, I don't need, to, don't need the web. Where's this email? Oh, here you go. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know this, I've got it here. I've got this email before. Hello, Ross. Um, here at Spotlight, we're excited to announce that we're moving to a new home after many years at Seven Leicester Place. We're uh, having a West End transfer over to our new studio space at 16 Garrick Street. The Spotlight Studios have been created with our performers and casting directors in mind with accessible spaces. Thank God it's accessible now. I always thought that was such a joke. Spotlight was supposed to be leading the industry and you couldn't, if you were you know, a wheelchair user, you couldn't even get in the building. I'm like, this is just mental. Um, so it's accessible now. Uh, they've got taping and audio recording facilities as well as a calm waiting, well, calm waiting spaces you to prepare for your next audition we can't wait to welcome you our studios are operational from wednesday the 25th so it's this wednesday um coming there uh, where they'll be operational at the new garrick street address so please be sure to check the details of any auditions you might have at spotlight please also note that you must have confirmed audition or booking uh to access the studios you can find us here as well as our new home we're having a makeover our logo and brand are having a makeover for the first time in many years you may have the Spotlight logo on your personal website, so you'll find the new logo within your account to update this soon. Keep your eyes on the website later this week for the refresh. This is just the start. A very exciting time for uh, us here at Spotlight. Can't wait to share more of the journey with you, so keep your eyes peeled. So lots of new stuff going down at Spotlight, hence why we're having uh, Mel Brown, Spotlight Success Manager, on next week. Has anyone got any questions about Spotlight? Just, uh, just so that, um, I mean, not for now necessarily, just that, you know, to help me maybe form that session with Mel? Anything that you've always wondered? Anything that you think, um, you know, would make it better? I don't know. I'd be just really interesting to uh, to know because I can, I can put all these things to Mel um, in advance to get her to, you know, sort of have a think about what we're going to talk about on the night. So, yeah, let us know in the um, in the chat if you've got any uh, any questions about Spotlight. Alex says they make enough money to open one in Manchester too. Yeah, they probably do. <laughs> Now the joining criteria is so 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 much less as well. More and more people will be joining. The price of stuff's going up. They've got the new Premier membership as well. We're going to talk about this. Let me let me find that. I'm not had a chance to look at it yet, but I did Google it before. Let's see what this is. So it says here a new membership for growth and development. Premier offers a series of features and services to members looking for a little more in terms of support and further growth professionally and personally. Access the experience and wisdom of Spotlight's internal experts. Still not going to be as expert as me. Just keep your eyes on this membership. Um, as well as casting professionals for profile feedback. Um, feel more secure in knowing that Premier Members comes with insurance. That's a bit interesting, isn't it? But, I mean, I have you have this anyway. Insurance cover for business travel, 
coverage of professional fees for tax investigation and personal injury, as well as a 24-hour hotline for health and well-being support. Um, it'd be interesting to know whether people think they're good enough benefits to, to upgrade. Most people have their own travel insurance. I have built-in tax investigation protection with my accountant, so anyone who's self-employed probably probably would have that as well, maybe. A 24-hour hotline for health and well-being support. I mean, what? I wonder what they do on that for 24 hours. You just ring them and say, hi. Um, <laughs> stuff. It's a bit lonely. Need a chat. Could you get me a delivery? Uh, there are also additional platform features that allow Premier members to better understand how their profiles are performing. That could be interesting. Improved communication with agents. That should be standard, though, in my opinion. And to provide more insight into the popularity of some roles in their jobs feed. So I think let's have a look if we go down. Uh, what's it saying here? Profile insights. You'll see how many views your profile has received and the number of searches and shortlists you appear in. Don't know how useful that is. Perform a search. That, uh, to sort of compare your profile to other people, that could be useful. Find friends, peers, cast members, and collaborators with our new search feature. That used to be part of Spotlight. Don't know why they took that out. Get increased media storage. Submission indicator, you'll be able to see roles that have received fewer than 150 submissions. Mm. Is that good? Or is that just, here's all the submissions, here's all the shows no one wants to be in? <laughs> I don't know. Concierge services, receive one-to-one -one career advice from Spotlight experts. I'd be interested to know how expert they actually are. Um, availability calendar, let your agent know when you're available for casting calls and productions. That's... I guess quite standard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's like a, a comparison table. We'll dive into it all with Mel. Just want to know, like, if is it worth it? I'm just not sure. Concierge services. Book a session with one of our helpful Spotlight career advisors who are on hand each week to lend you their advice. Our specialist team is made up of trained working professionals and in-house staff members who have worked in the industry as agents, performers, and casting professionals. Still love to know who they actually are, though. Are they qualified genuinely to give advice? I would really only want to take industry advice from people who are working in the industry. Just, you know, don't want to sound harsh. But you've really it's one of one of the four laws, one of the external factors that can lead to success or failure is who you're taking your advice from. That's really, really genuinely important that. You don't want to be asking for advice. This sounds awful, but from actors who have quit their career to be something else do you really because they didn't do the thing that you want to do you would want to go and have advice on being a successful actor from actors who are booking the roles that you would like to do or are working in the part of the industry you would like to work in really really important so again we'll dive into it all with mel um mel seems great though mel brown seems really really cool so uh, we'll check that out but yeah there's a the few things there to talk about when it comes to uh when it comes to spotlight um let's have a look uh da, 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 da. what's what are people saying in the chat here there's a pay what you can afford rate is there what you on spotlight is this um let's have a look um and 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 Spotlight Premier, how much is it? Is it about two fifty? I heard. I don't know if it, if I just missed it on the uh, on the page there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, the dis the any actors uh, with a disability would get. They used to. Well, they still. If, I don't know on the original membership, the classic one they call it now. You would get a fifty percent discount on that. I don't know if that includes the Premier one as well. Um, let's have a look. Equity membership provides the new premium Spotlight. Annie, is that right? So what do you mean? Is it, if you have equity membership, you get... How do you mean? I have to explain that. What do you mean? How does that get your premier spotlight? Oh, there's so much. There's so much new stuff going down. <laughs> Again, this is why we got Mel on next week. She'll talk us through uh, through everything. Oh, you're talking about the pay what you can for acts on this. Yeah, so um, there's a there's a pay what you can bundle on acts on this .tv. Um, for anyone who just wants to kick the tires on a few sessions that you don't get a full membership or anything like that, but you get 10 hours of content. Um, if you go to act on this .tv forward slash pay what you can, um, I'll bring it up now. If anyone's asking about that. There's some absolutely wicked sessions. Um, and you literally can just pay what you can for this. 
It's here, at sunnyslot.tv forward slash pay what you can. Um, there is 10 hours of coaching here. It's all from this year, some of the best sessions that I've done. Uh, we've got a showreel surgery session with, in my opinion, the best showreel producer in the UK, Chris Stone. We've got an agent session with an incredible agent from International Artist Management, Helen Kelly. We've got head of Hollyoaks casting, Peter Hunt, walking you through literally a step-by-step -step blueprint of how to land work in serial drama. Brassic director, Ruth Carney, talking about, you know, getting into, you know, high-end drama, comedy shows like Brassic. She's amazing. And then I've got a super in-depth two and a half hour podcast with the Academy Award winning writer and actress, Rachel Shenson. 10 hours or even slightly more than 10 hours of content at a price to suit you at on this tv forward slash pay what you can um i just wanted to yeah put that up there for people who just are, are literally i get it at the moment it's quite difficult if you've not got six pounds 75 a week um even though most coffees are that these days i got a pumpkin spice latte from starbucks it's a fiver now i was like i think the price has gone up five quid I'm like, actually, this is £6.75 a week. If you're wasting money on coffee, stop it. Get some Nespresso pods for 30p. That's what I've started doing now. And um, and get the uh, get that on this membership instead. Um, right. What else have I got to talk about? We've got six minutes left. I think I might have covered most stuff, though. We've covered Spotlight. We've covered all the upcoming sessions, Table Talk, Spotlight's address. I think we've done it, folks. That was everything I needed to cover tonight. We have uh, we have done it. So we've got, we've got five minutes of Q&A. Anybody need any help with anything at all in your acting career, do let me know. Um, I will uh, do my best. I will endeavour to give you some some wisdom before we uh, clock off at 10 o'clock. But thanks so much for everybody for being here. I know the start of this was slightly hindered with <laughs> tech problems. I was being cocky. I was being cocky at the start. I was like, look how easy it is this week. I've not done anything wrong. And then I did everything wrong. Oh, Actors Pro Expo. Joe, that was something I didn't mention. That is also a topic I missed. Let me get back on the web. On the web. Let me go over. This is happening this um, Saturday. Um, it's crept up on us quickly. If you are in Manchester or you can travel to Manchester, Actors Pro Expo North, a really big acting like exhibition slash seminar, um, is happening in Manchester at the Royal Northern College of Music, Saturday, October the 28th, 2023. I will be exhibiting actonthis.tv there. If you want to find out more about the site and you know the community and what we do, um, and you're going to be at that event, come and chat. I'd love to meet you. If you're a member of, of, of actonthis.tv, come and hang out. Um, let's get a selfie. Let me actually meet some people in real life. That would be amazing as opposed to it all being online. Um, I will probably be hijacking a few acts on this TV members who just turn up on the day, giving you an acts on this TV t-shirt and making you maybe give out leaflets. <laughs> if you'd be up for that there's only i think four of us man in the stall and i've got to go got to go and do a seminar with um peter hunt the casting director of hollyoaks at quarter to two um so you can get a ticket for the seminar as well uh we'd love to see you there yeah me and peter are going to be going over just four areas that we think actors fall down on uh when it comes to just having success ultimately booking work you know there's there's four main areas acts on this members will hear me talk about these a lot but sometimes you need to hear about them for the 900th and 8th time before it really sort of hits home. Uh, that's a quarter to two. It's a separate ticket for that. I think it's only a tenner. It's not my event, you see, so I don't I don't know exactly how it all works. But if you click on the seminars section there, let's see. I hope it's sold out. I mean, I hope, well, I hope not if people still want a ticket, but I want to sell my session out. If you come into this, please buy a ticket. Here it is. Uh, landing your next TV role fast with or without an agent with Hollyoaks casting director Peter Hunt. And that's on this founder, Ross Grant. Book now. Is there a ticket available? The better, well, hopefully there is, but then I want it to sell out by the weekend. Help me sell this out. There are tickets available. Oh, no, that's not mine. Which is mine? Uh, they do make it a little bit hard to book, tic uh, book tickets for stuff. There it is. There. So there are tickets available. 12.45 till half one. Do come and visit us for uh, for that seminar if you're going to Actors Pro Expo. Um, but yeah, you can go to actorspro.expo.com to find out more information about it all. Um, but that's happening this Saturday. And um, and yeah, if you are going to be there and you don't mind giving out some leaflets and just hanging out uh, with me and Petch, um, then I'll bring some extra t-shirts and um, we'll put you in one and uh, you can give some give some leaflets and business cards out. Um, Kev says, got my ticket for Saturday. Nice one, Kevin. De you'll definitely meet me, mate. Definitely come and find us. We've got a stand there. Um, you'll see us with a T-shirt on with that's on this on. I'll have a QR code on the back that people can scan if they want to get a £1 trial to the site. All that sort of stuff. Um, Indy, are you coming or what? You said yes there, but I don't know if that was in, in, in response to somebody else. Um, oh, Annie, you were saying meaning equity is the same. So Spotlight Premium, you don't think Spotlight 
Premier's worth it in your uh, in your opinion. I mean, I guess it depends on just what your situation is. But yeah, it'd be interesting to just find out, you know, how often you can use those one to one services, how often um, you know, they're doing extra things for, for Premier members. It'll be uh, interesting. And Alex is also paying four pound ninety for a coffee. It's too expensive, Alex. It's mental. Crazy, crazy uh <coughs> prices for coffee at the moment. I think we should start our own ads on this coffee brand. Then I'd have loads of money to get guests on with. I have no problem there at all. How many photos on Spotlight is too many? I think no more than four, Annie. It says, listen to Nina Goldspeak via Spotlight. Uh, she said she likes to see a good range. Is six too many, do you think? I just think, I mean, so with headshots, it depends, right? Your headshots, I'll have to, I'll have to cover this in two minutes. Um, we, this is a really, really big topic. So we, we recently, I don't know, if you really want to dive into this, on atsonthis.cv, I really dived into this heavy on a session that we had with, again, in my opinion, one of the best um, headshot photographers in, in the industry, full stop, Mr. Tony Blake. This session here is in the members area. It's like two hours long. Um, and we we reverse engineer access headshots that Tony has taken and then the auditions they have got from those headshots and the work they have booked through those headshots. You really can get as scientific as that. Your headshots absolutely must, just categorically, they must authentically represent who is going to walk through the door. If you are naturally, your disposition is warm, it's friendly, it's caring, it's maternal, you know, and you decide that you want to look cold as, and, and steely in a headshot, but it's really not who you are. It's not authentically aligned with your identity and who you actually are in, in the real world. Um, you are kind of mis-selling the product. You know, I can look moody as hell in a picture. I can look, I could probably like, you know, I don't know, scruff my hair up, put a hoodie on, look like a scally. I walk through the door and they get this. You know, I could act a bit of a scally as I'm walking in the door or whatever. It's not authentically me. They would. They, I'm not going to get the job against someone whose natural disposition is more scally-like. Um, so you've really got to authentically show yourself in those shots. And then that has to absolutely congruently match up with what they're going to see in your showreel, particularly that first scene they're going to they're going to watch. And it's only when all of that lines up and it's congruent where, you know, you really understand your casting type. You know, I can look at your headshot and I can, you know, I can absolutely see, you know, where I would place you in my production. You know, I know roughly, I can, I can say, like, I know roughly the age of this person, you know, their, their, their gender, their, um, their, uh, yeah, age bracket, ethnicity, presumed gender, um, and then uh, the jobs that it looks like they can do. You know, ultimately that is your casting site, and if I and if that matches with with you authentically, and then I see that in your showreel, it becomes an absolute no brainer to bring you in, because I'm bringing you in for all the right reasons, and then I'm getting exactly what I want through the door. When it where where it all goes wrong for actors is they try and dress up in their headshots. They're always acting in their headshots. They put on costume like it's here's me as a different character. It's like no, we just want to see you, who you actually are, what you could bring to that character. So, um. You know, I think a good range of of authenticity is roughly three, four shots. I think six could be bordering on too many. If if you look at it and you go, I don't know who this person is because there's so much variation here. I don't know really authentically what is them. You're just confusing people. Um, three, four headshots absolutely is 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 more than enough. Um, you know, and that should be a range of who you authentically are. They shouldn't be completely opposite. You know, if I've got one that's you know lovely, warm and smiley, which is kind of who I am. And then I've got one where I just look mean as hell. I'm like, I don't understand like who this person is, because you can look like that in one frame. That's all that is. When a camera's aperture, when it when it's when it's, um, you know, the, the lens of the camera ultimately, whatever they would call it, you know, opens and closes, or closes and then opens. It takes one still, one frame. That's you, and you can look however you want in that one frame. You know, I could look moody, like I say, and, and all that sort of stuff. But when I walk into the room or I'm on TV at 60 frames a second. You know, like you can't, you can't hide. Like you can't really hide authentically who you are. And I know actors will say, "But I can act." It's like, no, but you're gonna, especially at the start of your career, you're gonna get, you know, cast for who you are, not who you think you can be or who you can pretend to be. Um, you know, casting directors want you for who you actually are. Kelly Valentine Henry said it. Who cast Bridgerton on the last session we did with her? She said that the more I get into this industry, and she's been in it twenty five years or so, she's like, she she realizes now the best actors are the actors who know who they are. Not the actors who would try to be everything to everyone and go, oh, look at these 20 pictures of me where I can show you every sign and every single emotion that could possibly be. <laughs> it's just confusing, really confusing. So, um, 
that's sort of the short-ish answer. But if you really want to dive into it and understand it properly, Annie, go and watch that session in the members area with uh, with Tony Blake. Um, it's a long one, but we break down absolutely everything and, and give proper examples of headshots. And we even play scenes out, you know, uh, from the shows that those headshots have led these actors to to land roles in. Um, it really walks you through absolutely everything as scientifically as possible. Um, right. Uh, Indy wants, wants, what do you want, Indy? Coffee, mugs, and T-shirts with hats on this on. Yeah, we're going to get some hats on this merch. We definitely have to do that. 100%. We've got to get some uh, some merch going, definitely. And Janet says, all her cash goes on a dog. <laughs> you know what? Got, I'm not even going to argue with that, though, Janet. Got to spoil your dog, you know. But just think, if you get hats on this membership, Janet, you start earning more at your acting career. Think how much more money you can spend on your dog. You know what I mean? Just saying. Um, right. Um, and what are you saying there, Joe, before we go? Emma Sylvester, is, uh, casting director at BBC, is, Emma's left, Joe. Um, so uh, she was working on Father Brown before she went. I think she finished that project off and now she's left. She might go back to the BBC, she says. She might not. Um, but the the full BBC casting department is in the the ads on this Ultimate Contacts database. Um, I'm just actually about to upload an update tonight. So if you uh, if you get on the uh, the Ultimate Contacts database, Joe, tomorrow, you'll have that through the first TV or Fast Track program, by the way. Um, you can find out exactly who's at the BBC on uh, on that list there. I'm going to upload a, a brand new version of it tonight. Um, so download that either later tonight or or tomorrow. It'll have the date of when it was updated in in the members area. It'll be in red, so you'll you'll know it's the latest version. Right, folks, you're all legends. Um, I have no trailer to play for Thursday night session with Dom, so let me play out the table talk trailer again. If you missed this podcast, this is the final table talk of 2023. Uh, and we just cover so much in this chat. Um, thanks ever so much for those people who have watched it already. Do drop me a tweet at Act on This TV. Let me know your biggest takeaway from it if you have watched it. And just thanks to everybody for being here. If you're not a member, come and join us. As I say, give me till Christmas. Let me show you how this content can change your life. Um, you know, and if you already are a member, it means the uh, it means the world um, that you're still involved. And there's so much stuff going down between now and Christmas. It's never there's never been a better time. Never been a better time to be alive. Never been a better time to be a member of Rats on this. So, uh, so yeah, we've got so much great stuff on the way. Right, going to play this trailer out. Love to you all. Have an amazing week. Get out of there. Ask for what you deserve as well. Let's go hard. Let's not give up. Still plenty of time left of 2023. Um, let's finish the year strong. And I'll see you, um, hopefully, Thursday night with Dom Stevenson. If you want to land parts in Coronation Street in Emmerdale, you better be there. Until next time, folks, bye for now. Pitch. Welcome back to the kitchen for October 2023 Table Talk. It's the final quarter of the year. Let's get stuck in. This is the once a quarter feature for Acts on This.TV where we dive into all of the burning issues that we see actors in our community and outside of it facing. The first thing I've actually got here is side hustles. Right. And you mentioned there in, in the chat about Ooh. what you were you were talking about at this event that you don't have to build a million pound business. No, of course you don't. You have. How can I go about creating my own side hustle? What am I passionate about? What do I like? What do I love doing, right? Um, what am I good at? And what will people pay me for? And it's where that overlap is, is the sweet spot. What are you doing differently now in these self-tapes that is landing you more work? I just, in the nicest, and I mean this respectfully, I just stopped caring. All my other tapes last year, those 13 that I had got and not booked, every single one I didn't get put more pressure on the next. What did you find out about Spotlight Premier? So Spotlight Premier, I've not found out a lot, but it says a new membership for growth and development. It says Premier offers a series of features and services uh, to members looking for a little more in terms of support and future growth. How can we help actors stop overthinking sometimes you've just got to make a decision Gary Vaynerchuk says this he says the beautiful thing about making a decision if you've got a couple on the table is once you've made that decision you've no idea where that decision you didn't make was going to lead you it's October it's quarter four actors are now winding down I use the basketball analogy so many games of basketball are won in the fourth quarter from teams that were losing in quarters one two and three mm -hmm. don't be the team that quits I'll let you choose one um I mean, you can answer it. Why do you do what you do? And this could be a bit controversial. I could get cancelled here. I always get cancelled on every table talk. It's about time I did it, isn't it? Mm -hmm.